Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bone Warrior 2 React. So I've actually got a very different video today, which is about Ben Affleck. I should uh, scroll up. Ben Affleck will return as Batman in the Flash movie. That's pretty incredible. Because I didn't think he'd, I thought he'd only like do extra scenes with the Zack Snyder cut. And that was it. But uh, do you think this is more of a sending off, uh, a sending off no letter? Saying that, hey, we didn't get the Batman movie that with Ben Affleck, but at least we can get him in the Flash and him uh, uh, do it, coming back to, uh, for his role and sort of finishing it off. And we have Michael Keaton as well. Uh, I believe it's my yeah, my Keaton come back for as Batman. Pretty good. Don't know what the story is going to be like, but uh, yeah. Before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like. Hit that like or kick that like button and comment the video or positive feedback what you like about this. And do you want Ben Affleck to come back? That's the question. I I, I, I like it. I'm just like there on its own. The 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 uh, suit, the costume did not do him justice. He just to me he looked too beefy like him. In, in uh, Batman vs Superman, yeah, he was big, but he was like, it looked muscle big, and it looked like brutey like big, uh, very, very, uh, very opposites with uh, Robert Pattinson. I feel like Robert Pattinson's character, like I said before, is going to be able to take the pain. Uh, he's going to take pain more than he can give it. Obviously, he's going to give a lot, but he's going to take a lot of pain as well. So uh, I hope that happens. But uh, let's get let's get into this. Uh, so Batman Forever strives for a chance to set things right. That may finally hap uh, happen with Ben Affleck version of the crime fire. The Argo director broading Dark Knight is coming back for one more movie. So it's only going to be one more movie. But like I said, it's better than nothing, isn't it? I mean, I'm I'm always up for. Uh, I mean, they they had quite a good connection in the. Uh, uh, Justice League. I wonder if that's going to still be the same with the Zack Snyder cut, uh, Flash and uh, Batman. Because uh, I mean, Batman's the one who actually made Flash pretty much become a superhero. Uh, well, uh, edge him on a little bit. This, you save one, and then you'll know. I think it, that was like. So uh, with Affleck agreeing to the, uh, return uh, as Bruce Wayne in the upcoming big screen version of the Flash. Vanity Fair has learned portray, uh, portrayals uh, portrayals of uh, Batman always ignite furious debate amongst fans. And Affleck's selection for the part continues to provoke intense discussion. Even years after he, f uh, he first donned uh, don the uh, cowl, some love, hi hi some love him, some uh, dis uh, parig, uh, is it parig? Uh, dis parig uh, him. Uh, some refused uh, to see him in the role uh, from from the very beginning, which I disagree. I think he was very good in uh, Batman vs Superman, especially with the material that he had. The extension cut was better, but I mean, I thought he was the best bit. Uh, I when I went out of Batman vs Superman, I was like, my first thought was, "Hey, Batman was good," especially that warehouse scene. Uh, while other uh, while other Consider him an underrated favorite who deserved more chances to play the role on screen. Yeah, definitely uh, This does not inter uh, disrupt uh, the Batman film starring um, Robert Patterson who will remain the future of the franchise Hopefully we can get some cross <laughs> Please, oh man I'd... I don't know. I don't know if Robert Patterson. I, I feel do you think Robert Patterson will be like uh Whacking Phoenix. The Flash movie, which is planned for the release in summer 2022, will feature fast moving. Well, that's if it doesn't get pushed a bit back even more. <laughs> moving hyper hero Barry Allen, uh, played by Ezra Miller, which. Ah. Uh, recast! <laughs> this is why we're doing the whole Batman things, just to get away from. Look, man, he made a mistake, but it was a bad mistake, and that is career-ending. And I, I don't know how he got, he got lucky. Uh, 
uh, breaking the bond of the physics to crash into various parallel dimensions. Ah, uh, how are you gonna? Hey, you, like for me, I'm trying to think how do Michael Keaton, and I'm a DC fan. Imagine the average moviegoer. Like, look at Joker. That's why it was so successful because it was it was just a guy going down. Simple story, easy seller for average viewers. Uh, uh, where he'll encounter slightly different versions uh, of DC classic heroes, which I'm excited for. I don't know what DC heroes. It's an adaptation of DC's 2011 Flashpoint series of. No, it's not. It's just a whole different. One. Don't call it. Don't call it Flashpoint. Flashpoint is Flashpoint. Flashpoint is where Wonder Woman and Aquaman fight. You have Bruce. Uh, Bruce's dad who becomes uh, who dons the cape, uh, so very different. No, no, don't call it Flashpoint, <sighs> man. And these are supposed to be reports. <laughs> Flashpoint a series of the comic cross uh, comic book crossovers directed by Andy Muschietti, the filmmaker behind the recent adaptation of Stephen King's It and It Chapter Two. Which hey, you can get the first one right, but the second. Yeah. I I would have I would have been very uh, hesitant, as you would say, about it. Chapter two. Um, yeah, uh, his Batman as a Dick. What's that? Ditch Tommy? I've never heard that before. Dick Tommy. Uh, <laughs> that is very strong, which is a masculine. Yeah, I can't speak today. Masculinity. I. Uh, uh, because of the way uh, the way he looks and the imposing figure that he has, and his jaw his jawline, because we got a finger that <laughs> jawline, but he's he also very vulnerable. Uh, Muschietti has said in the in an interview, he knows how how to deliver from inside uh, inside and out. That vul vulnerability. Uh, sorry, it's it's the morning. I ain't had my coffee. I got up, saw this. Straight on it. Uh, yeah, he just needs a, a story that allows him to bring that contrast and the balance. Affleck got the script and at the end of the last week and agreed this week to join the project. So do you think they were just like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we got Affleck and Affleck's in the background like, I'm in. And they're like, what? What? <laughs> and uh, they're like, no, no, wait, really? And they're like, he's like, I'm in. And like, so rewrite all the script. That's why it's been pushed back so much. <laughs> uh, he's a very substantial part of the emotional impact of the movie. The interaction, the relationship between Barry and Affleck's uh, Wayne will bring an emotional level that we haven't seen before. The director added, it's, Barry, it's Barry's movie, it's Barry's story, but... Their characters are more related than we think, which the I just explained. They both lost their mothers. <laughs> Mother lost, bro. Uh, murder, and that's one of the emotional vessels of the movie. That's where ba the Affleck uh, Batman kicks in. I'm I'm glad to uh, to be collaborating with someone who has been on both sides of the camera. To Muschietti said. He understands. Affleck uh, won't be the only Batman making a comeback. A few more of the alternate uh, dimension heroes who who turn up in the Flash movie will be figures we've seen before. Michael Keaton's uh, Batman from the 1989 Tim Burton film is also to appear in what Muschietti said was a st substantial part, which I'm very interested of how they're going to do that. Especially that they can't really move as well. <laughs> That'll be pretty funny. Uh, there's another reason the uh, the Flash needed the character's aff affection, affectionality, uh, uh, known as ba Batfleck. In in DC uh, in DC's movie universe, Affleck Gray template, uh, yeah, template uh, Bruce Wayne is the one. Ezra, Ezra's Flash would consider the original Batman the one 
he has already fought alongside in the previous Zack Snyder films, well, eh, not really. Muschietti said it wouldn't work. Who's reporting this? Muschietti said it wouldn't uh, work as well for him to venture into the company of other Batman without uh, having Affleck as the starting point. He's the baseline. He's part. Of, he's part of, of the unaltered state before we jump into Barry's adventure. The director said, "There's a familiarity uh, there." Uh, yeah, uh, DC has still. Uh, we don't need to see that. Unlike unlike Marvel, oh, we don't need to compare it. I ne I never compare it because it, it because it's a very different approach. This movie, so uh, I saw Affleck. So we'll read here. Affleck was the cast as Batman in the late August of 2013, and the debate of over his present hasn't let up. Even after two movies with Snyder's Batman vs Superman, well, whoever's reporting this is because it was not Zack Snyder's Justice League because Zack Snyder's Justice League hasn't released yet, so we don't know if it was if uh, he was a lot better or not. Uh, Snyder of Justice League will, uh, which will appear on HBO uh, Max, uh, res res restoring uh, the original director's vision. Before the film was handed off to Joss Whedon, because yeah, he he, he was good Joss Whedon to complete a version of the film that seems to have left uh, no one happy. Nope. Affleck had previously signed to direct and star in a standalone film called The Batman, but ultimately left the project due to, I, I know all this, uh, so we all know this, which was private issues, uh, I'm not going to explain, you can actually find that, but uh, he's back, I just moved my camera, but he's back, that's all we need to know, and I'm super hyped for it, I'd like to see a nice send off, I'd, I, it was not a nice send off what he got, because he didn't get one, and Unfortunately, he didn't get his own movie. I wanted to see him in a movie, his own movie, but we can't get all, what we want always. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's just be glad he's getting a proper send off. So, what do you think, guys? Do, are you super hyped for Affleck to return? Uh, just put it down in the comments below uh, if you're super hyped. And uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe, kick the like button, and comment. But other than that, guys, I'll see you to the next. Bye.